Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I received a comment a couple of days ago from Hell's Spawn, and thank you for your comment. It reads, I recently downloaded Fubar, and I do like its simplicity a lot, but its interface is so um, simple, lol. If you know how, can you make a tutorial on how to get skins for Fubar 2000, and any tips, tricks you may know for it? I try searching YouTube, but there's only like four vids on Fubar. Well, I hate to disappoint. Thanks again for your comment. So this video is entirely on FUBAR 2000. So what is FUBAR 2000? Well if you haven't heard of it, it's basically an audio player. It plays music. It, it supports a variety of formats. So we've got MP1, MP2, MP3, MP4, uh, all of these basically. And you can play additional ones through optional components, which are plugins I believe. So that's about it really. It's a very misconceived player because, like Hellspawn has said, he said it's uh, it's simple, all about it being simple. Uh, it's actually the opposite. A lot of people say it's too complicated because it's one of the most advanced, customizable players that you'll find for Windows. A lot of people will say, ah, Winamp's better. That's because it's simple to use. When you go and download a skin, you double click it, it imports itself, and it's all done. Well, this one, you can customize it down to what you want written in the actual columns on uh, on your playlist or things like that. So, um, we'll begin by sh actually showing you the player. There's uh, just a download link on the FUBAR 2000 homepage. Install is 2.64 megabytes from version 0.95. I'll include the download link in the description. So when you go to click that, you will result in a f this executable file. So we'll double click that and we'll install Fubar. I agree. Default folder and default options. Apart from we just want the desktop icon. So say next, and it's done. So when you run Fubar for the first time, this is what it looks like. As you can see, very very simple. Large box here and it stops and it's just got play controls here, volume control here, file menu here and a big list and a quick appearance setup. So it's understandable when Hellspawn says something like it's simple. Uh, here we have the quick appearance and you can basically click any of these and it, it changes the layout on various parts of the program. So for me I like it just having a long list where I can select what I want and organize it in ascending order or something or just have it play on random and minimize it and not have to worry about it so I'm having simple playlist plus tabs and I have a black theme so I'm going to choose black as my background and playlist layout I'd like to separate the album and artist because it's here it says artist slash album and it will keep it in the same bit I don't really like that so I'm going to have it separating them so you say artist album title duration and then I suppose it says track number so I'll add my extra ones in a minute but we say OK and that's pretty much done so if you right click here you've got columns that you can add so I'm going to say total track artist or something like that anything you can add here uh, you can drag these about as much as you want uh, this one if I show you a folder that's added and start playing a song so I'll just randomly import my entire music collection so it's processed about 1,800 songs in about half a second. And uh, if I play something random like Piece of Me or something, as you can see there's a visualizer here. And there's a file menu here. You can drag this about, drag this about. Volume control, goes by decibels and a slider. So pause this for the second this is this is basically it there's some cool features that are in FUBAR 2000 in the standard part of it that aren't through plugins and things like uh, you can convert the file to several other formats WAV, AIFF, anything like that you can convert it on the fly just by right clicking and saying convert to and uh, there's something called replay gain which basically embeds a little thing a little piece of code in the metadata which is like a small part of the top of a file that doesn't get read by anything else that says the the volume of it you'll set in decibels and then you can alter all of these to have the same amount of decibels so you're basically normalizing tracks but not actually altering them so the player will adjust its volume I think to 
uh, to the MP3. If I've said something wrong here, if there's anything I've said wrong in this video, then be sure to correct me in the uh, in the messages in the comments. Sorry. So, also another thing is the advanced tagging that they've got here, where you can change a lot of things to do with the tags. And also another good thing here is the preferences, which is. I thought Winamp was bad when I looked at it, but this is unbelievable. You can have things like, you can change the, the what happens when you right click a file, and uh, all of these things here. You can change the interface, They've got in, you can import themes, but we're not going to use this for skins, which I'll be talking about. If I have enough time, you can, dis you can display what the window title is, file types, keyboard shortcuts. This is good as well. If you go to add a new shortcut, you'll notice it's actually got a filter list because there's so many, so many things here that have, that you can actually use with global shortcuts. Media library, you can add the folders in here. Lots of other things here, which I haven't got enough time to explain. Um, plugins. Now there's a variety of plugins for Fubar 2000. There's this page here, which I'm going to leave in the description, which shows you several things you can do with it, such as DSPs, uh, digital sound processing. You can get things like surround sound, things like that. Uh, you can have stuff like if you're a Last.fm user, you can have it uh, scrubble your what you listen to onto the site, like other players do, and things like sending track information to MSN Messenger or mass tagging, which is like changing all of your files at once or something to some tag or something like that. So yeah, these are all the components. Uh, one of them's essential, which is Columns UI. So we're actually going to install that now. Uh, this is for people who want to skin their player. And hopefully there's a download link somewhere. Um, I think I've already got it actually. Here we go. Uh, we want to go Columns UI. We want to download the lib and zlib libraries or something we're going to extract them and we're going to put them in C program files C being your default drive where you installed it and we want to get to foobar2000 everything that has foo underscore goes in the components directory we're going to put these in the main directory so these are just to run this uh, columns UI so we're now going to download the official columns UI build extract it and you see it says foo UI columns dll so this is where all the foo bits comes in this is why I titled the video with the foo part of it because that's important in the components part of foobar2000 foo underscore all gets put in the components directory so we now have this installed we now need to restart this player and you'll notice that it says new interface modules found so we now need to change it to columns UI We'll have a playlist sidebar and you'll suddenly notice that the interface has changed slightly and there's no volume control so we know to right click toolbars volume yeah, that's it puts it up there or whatever but this is basically the main thing that people use to skin their player and I'm not sure I'm going to have to have enough time to show you some of the customization commands I might be able to do it quickly say preferences go to columns UI playlist switcher no, is that right? Playlist view. I just find what I need. Here we go. So we say artists. If I want to have all the artists display in red or something like that, I just go dot 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 here. It says colors here. Just say red. Copy this and paste it just behind this artist here. Press save all and then close. You'll notice that all of my artists have turned red. That's just something basic, but I haven't got enough time to explain it all. Uh, but basically, everyone uses this. And you'll notice that if you see on some websites they've got a customization thread, 503 pages of people who have customized their player. Um, I suggest you read the newbie user guide, which I'll include in the description, intermediate user guide, and the FUBAR 2000 manual, which is updated at the moment. And a suggested skin, which I've been using, is called Navigator, which I will also include to download. Um, and that's about it really, I'm, I'm sorry I've run out of time, I can't really show you anything else, but that's the many things that FUBAR2000 can do, and some of the cost customization options you can do, and there's a lot of files you can use uh, that will show you help on specific things, uh, I think like tools, total formatting, you see where it says uh, artist in this column, just quickly showing you there's a file that will help you and you can change it all to a load of things as you can see it's quite complicated uh, thanks for watching my video 
and please rate and subscribe.